here he is with much fanfare, the number one lightweight contender challenging for UFC gold here tonight. Hay is in the barn. He feels like he has put in all the requisite work to realize the dream. He's been working so hard. When you watch the video, you can see a guy that will not accept anything less than being super prepared for the biggest opportunity of his career. He has worked diligently, he has trained hard, he has brought in training partners, he's done everything. Now it's all about going out there and executing. He said he feels he's ready to do that and become the UFC champion. But it must be stated in this division with all of the contenders, oftentimes you only get one crack. Let's see what he can do with it. Martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Habib is as undefeated as fighter Habib, but we love getting the opportunity to see Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy's a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with Hasbulla in this corner. And if Hasbulla didn't have any value, probably wouldn't be in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for the former lightweight champ tonight. Championship fight. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Business Herb fight. Dean is our referee Ready. tonight. Yeah. All right, it is the UFC's unofficial home base. T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and 18,000 plus are expected on hand tonight for what should be an epic UFC lot. It is going to be a phenomenal fight night and a fantastic T-Mobile Arena, the home of the UFC. Oh, nice. Nurmagomedov going for the takedown, but unable to land. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Fast pace here in the early going. Oh, that was a big one there. All right, first clinch situation in the fight. We will see who has the upper hand. Will it be the BJJ fighter or the wrestler? We expected we'd see a lot of this, though, either way. It's the ultimate equalizer for the jiu-jitsu fighter because if they're out in space wrestling, you would give the wrestler the advantage. But by being in close, you give yourself opportunities to not only take him down, but drag him to the mat with trips and take him. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here. Triangle now, DC. We'll see if he can close the show. Oh, the triangle is in. And not only does he have the triangle, if his opponent circles the wrong way, he can even attack an arm bar. This is a very big advantage position for this fight. 
And this could be the end of the fight. Looks like the fight is over, guys. It's done. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. Look, I gotta stop writing these dudes obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, that Kimura looks tough. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Making all these shots count. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Attempting a choke now. Ooh, it's tight. Big time arm triangle situation here. He's very close to finding the finish, but he's got to take his time if he doesn't want to lose the position. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. you got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the back. Oh, what an end to round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. It had a little bit of everything and nearly a finish due to a submission. But you see, when you're on the ground with him, you're in danger. Yeah. You're constantly under attack. There is no place to rest. Where you can rest with most guys, you've got to be very aware against this guy, or he's going to catch you with something that you can't get out of. Mago Madoff gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. And there's the single. Big right hook there by the champ. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Namago Man. Another strike gets through from the top position. That's a heck of a strike to land from bottom position. In the half guard. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, right into Mount. Now he's got a good body position, yo. Oh, big elbow. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Lands the ground and pound strike. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Topuria. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nermago Meta. He's in the mouth. very accurate in the ground and pound and is showing because he's landing so consistently. Big ground and pound. Oh, he locks up the triangle now, DC. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like the end of the fight. Look at him, he's starting to find a shot. Oh, my goodness. Wow. He slams him down, uses straight power to escape that triangle choke. Great job, great technique. I mean, great physicality yeah. by this youngster. And just when you thought he might get submitted, instead he turns defense into offense and power bombs his opponent on the canvas. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, good shot landed there from the bottom. Trying to set up a choke here. Oh, Darce choke locked and loaded. Somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. 
Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Oh, Kimura attack. Yup. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, my oh, gosh. How did he get his arm? Unbelievable. He looked like he was done, but he was able to slip the arm out and stay safe. All right, so the crowd voicing its appreciation after that crazy sequence in the previous round nearly submitted him there, DC. This is usually what we get with striking, but tonight you have a very educated crowd. They appreciate high-level grappling, and they are getting that tonight in this fight. Ready that fight. submission was in Ready. deep, but wow, Good. what a great job of escaping and living to fight another day. Lands the overhand punch to the head. Another big shot to the head. So not exactly the approach we thought we would see out of this BJJ player. His ground game, you can argue, as good as anyone's in this division. Yeah, he has, an to the same has not even a trip to the table. I, I would never have expected this, John. I don't understand. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, favorite position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. Nice counter right hook there. Big shot lands for both guys. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all the strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. And busy as he looks to improve position here. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermako Medov. Continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the arm ball. It's tight. Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. Oh, right in the mouth. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Less than two minutes to go in round three. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. The ground strikes continue to pile up. And there comes the stoppage. Rabin Nurmagomedov takes the judges out of it, gets the finish. <laughs> well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. We now go to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. All right, Khabib Nurmagomedov, your winner by TKO here tonight. What cannot this man do? Incredible result for your former teammates tonight.